Welcome to Lake County Adventures. On Saturday, we saw a dynamic duo, Whispering Light, playing flute and guitar at the Featherbed Railroad. On Sunday, went to the Cobb Mountain Open Artist Studio and were able to see four of the eight studios with fantastic Lake County artists. Peggy and Tony for letting us have our CD release party here. It's been awesome. They've been great hosts all day.
here. Yes, my wife Suzanne does all the fabric stuff. Um, these large animal heads are towel pals. They're full-size towels um, with the animal theme, and they're for kids getting out of the pool or the tub or whatever. Um, and she's got a whole menagerie about I think, 17, 18 different critters. This is oh, our 26-year-old daughter, but um, <laughs> she's a great employee. She works all day long and doesn't say anything. Pillows <laughs> on the yeah, lower shelves good. are called quillows, and the blanket in them unfolds uh, from the pocket. And you can, can you unfold a blanket? So you oh, up, look at that. You end up with a 5 by 6 blanket. Uh -huh. And then you can sleep on it or under it later. And they're laminated boards and then I, I carve away the bottom. And it makes them really easy to pick up from any angle. Oh, yeah. You don't need fingernails right. or drag. Right. Right. Yeah. And it's very easy to pick up with yeah. one hand. And it makes them lighter, too. Well, and that's the thing. This is a large board that's unfinished. Uh -huh. And, and uh, it, when, I, when I glued them all together, it weighed probably 13 pounds. Uh -huh. And about 40% of the wood ends up in the floor of my shop, so we're now talking 7 half, 8 pounds. Wow. Okay. Melanie Leota. Melanie Leota. I call the, the um, signature pieces. Uh -huh. In fact, those colors they can handle the high temperatures because these are stoneware and they go well over 2,000 degrees. Mm -hmm. So they're very durable. But uh -huh. yes, um, I've had a lot of experimentation until I could get the colors that I wanted. Mm -hmm. Well, there's one is... There was a gentleman that was traditional calligraphy uh -huh. from the ceramics department so that I that was at San Francisco State. Yeah. He did the brushwork on that. Oh. So he's a traditional oh, Japanese calligrapher like pattern. But there was, this is as much a part of the piece as the, the actual piece. Right. This is Clear Lake, Kelsoville Re 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 Rivera area. This is actually the top of my uh, hood on a cold morning. That's crystal instruction. Very, very pleasant to 